be quiet so I can work. Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. So I've had a lot of requests for different information about doing interlock, reversible, standard, traditional, all of the above. And the biggest question of the last few weeks is how do I make this corner turn into a real corner? So I'm going to show you how the easy peasy way to do that. So you want to make it look like this up against these two as we fill in these corners all the way around. This is just a little swatch that I made with one of my favorites. I love this Lion Brand ice cream roving. This stuff is just so soft and so awesome. I just made up this little swatch so that I could fill in edges and make this little corner. So what we're going to do here, I'll take this one out. I'll remind you how we do this little corner right here. Do our little triangles or our half squares. And then we will go on to the corner and that'll be it. This is so simple. Alright, so you use the same hook that you used when you were making your blanket, when you were doing all of your interlot work. And now we want to pull up just like a normal square was for your for your piece. So this one in particular, I'm doing five by five squares, so I'm going to pull up six loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now just like we were doing before, we're going to pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two until you have three loops left on your hook. And then you want to yarn over and pull through all three of those. So we just reduced one stitch. So that's going to help us make our little triangle. So now we go over here to the next stitch because this one doesn't count anymore. We just used that one up. We just reduced that stitch. So we're going to pull up one, two, three four and off to the side. So now I have six loops on my hook instead of seven. So we're going to go through two, go through two, go through two. Now I have three loops left on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. So skip this first one because we just reduced him. He doesn't count anymore. So one, two, three, and off to the side just like we have been. And if you're finishing off a blanket, you're very good at this by now. Pull through two, pull through two, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And you keep doing that until you're out of loops. Got one more here. I have four loops on my hook, pull through two. Now there's three, yarn over, pull through all three. Three loops on my hook, so I want to yarn over and pull through all three of them and then slip stitch right here and call that one done. So there's our little triangle. We just filled them in with a half a square. Just like I did all the way around. Now we want to make this triangle right here. And it's really simple, super easy, super easy. So I already have one loop on my hook, but now I want to pull up an even number. So I'm working on five by fives here. If you were making bigger or smaller squares, just make sure you pull up an even number of loops. So I will be pulling up 12. There's one, two, Ten, eleven, and then around that little corner is number twelve. So there you go. Now I have thirteen loops on my hook. If need be, you might want to get out a regular old Tunisian or a regular old no grip, no handle kind of hook to help you out a little bit if you can't keep all of your loops on this hook. So first of all, we're going to chain one. So it's a yarn over and pull through just the first loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two all the way down. 
just like we did with our other squares. All the way down, yarn over and pull through two until we only have one loop left on our hook. There's my last two, yarn over, pull through two. There we go. Now we are going to reduce this down into a triangle shape like this. And this is called a Tunisian Simple Stitch. All of these are Tunisian Simple Stitch. But we want to do a Tunisian Simple Stitch two together. So what we want to do is you find the first two vertical bars right here and right here. Go under both of those. Yarn over and pull up one loop for both of those stitches. And we want to pull up a loop on all of these other bars these vertical bars until we get down to the end and I have two vertical bars left just like now so now I have three stitches left two vertical bars and then a little side guy so under these two we want to go under both of them yarn over and pull up a loop and then just like we did any other time we were when we didn't have anything to attach it to, we're going to go under this little stitch that we made over here and pull up a loop. We just reduced by two. By going under these loops, we reduced by two. So again, yarn over, pull through one loop. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through two all the way down. nine and ten. See my original I had done on my piece 12 and now I just reduced down to 10. So we're going to reduce again. We're going to reduce once on this side and once on this side so we'll reduce down to eight. So under these first two vertical bars right here we want to go under both of them, yarn over and pull up one loop for both of those stitches. And then these other vertical bars in the center pull up like normal until we get down to our last three stitches which is right now. So there's a bar, vertical bar here, vertical bar here, and then our little side stitch. So go under the two the last two vertical bars that you have, yarn over, pull up one loop for both stitches, and then go over to our little side piece and pull up a loop. So now I'm going to reduce again. So you chain one. So you just yarn over and go through the first loop. And you yarn over and go through two all the way down. Super easy peasy. So now we just reduced again. We want to do that one more time. So under the first two vertical bars, put your hook through, yarn over, and pull up one loop for both of those stitches. And then when the ones in the center are like normal, until we have our three our three stitches left. The last two vertical bars get worked together. Yarn over and pull up one loop for both of those stitches and then go over to the side and make that loop. And we're going to reduce again. So we want to yarn over and chain one. Yarn over, pull through two all the way down. See, now I've reduced down to six stitches. See how easy that is? Do that again. Under, under the first two bars, yarn over, pull up one loop for those two. And we're going to do one more loop here. And now we're already down to our three. Vertical bar, vertical bar, and then our side stitch. So go under the, these, these two bars, yarn over, pull up one loop for both of those stitches. Go over to the side and pull up your loop. Yarn over and chain one. The yarn over, pull through two, 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 and two. And now I'm down to four stitches. Now this is the row where it changes it up a little bit because we only have a couple of vertical bars here. We want to do two reduces. We want to reduce two times. So we're going to go under these two bars and pull up one loop for the two stitches. And then over here we want to go underneath this vertical bar and through our little side stitch. Go through both of those and pull up one loop. Now I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and do my chain one. 
yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and now we're almost done with that. Now I like to chain one at the very end to kind of even that out, make it a little bit more pointy. There you go. And now to continue on, you can finish off your yarn right now and then start over here if you want to. I prefer just to slip stitch so I don't have anything that I need to weave in. We'll just slip stitch down. Make sure you don't make them too tight. Gives a nice edge to your triangle so that you can go back and put your border on in a little while. So it makes it into a real square or a real rectangle depending on how your sizing was but right now I have a perfect corner. So then you can go on to your next triangle, your next half square. Now you just start pulling up. Pull up for me with my five by fives I have to pull up six stitches. And do the same thing again. Yarn over, pull through two until you have three loops left on your hook. And then you yarn over and pull through all three. You skip this first one because it doesn't count anymore. Because you just reduced by that stitch. And to the side over here. Yarn over, pull through two until you have three loops left on your hook. Right like that. Yarn over, pull through all three. Finish this triangle really quick. Pull through two, pull through two, three on my hook, so pull through all three. Turn over, go through the side, turn over, pull through two, three loops left on my hook, pull through all three. One more vertical bar, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull all three and then slip stitch in the next one to finish off our little triangle. And now technically I am done with that because I started here and I worked all the way around this piece, did all of my corners and all of my triangles, and now I'm putting on a border and I'll show you that one in a little while. But wasn't that so simple? It's just a Tunisian simple stitch two together. Really easy. Even if you're not a Tunisian person, you really are doing Tunisian when you're doing interlock, so you just learned a new stitch. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.